Tay in the way. So we are entering the park now and we're just going to basically come here and wait for our guide <laughs> to appear. Today is kind of busy, so the wait time is a little bit longer. But the beautiful thing is that they have this gorgeous little natural picnic area for us to sit down in <laughs> until the guide decides to come and greet us. <laughs> but yeah, the park is uh, the park is really is really spectacular already. I I already feel like wow, like I'm one with nature and stuff. <laughs> I have an idea since they don't have Oh Tom, here. wait Tom, you can't say that on on camera <laughs> so that there's no Tom is wanting to break the rules yes. and possibly go without a guide, which we are not going to do because we've all seen the I movies would. that when people do that, they end up dead in a ditch somewhere. So Vanette is going to be waiting for a guide. <laughs> okay, so we are starting the trail. The guide has told us that there are wild cats and animals and snakes and stuff that could kill us if they want to, but he promises that they are scared of humans and that we will be safe. <laughs> okay, so the good thing about this trail is that it's full of these little rest stops as well so that you don't get heat stroke up in here and die. So every 10 to 15 minutes or so, you get these areas like this to stop and take a break. This is a part of it. Uh, on the trail, you get this chance to walk among the trees. So they have the little, they have the little, uh, what do you call this, a bridge? And that little bridge that feels like you're gonna die, but it's actually pretty stable, so you're not going to. <laughs> and <laughs> we have the we have the opportunity to be in the treetops and this is really freaking amazing. I, I don't think that it um, translates very well to camera, but it's really freaking awesome. Okay guys, so we make our way, oh my gosh, to the first lookout. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> This is This is absolutely breathtaking. Oh my gosh. Look at that look at that giant bird. Wow. And again, I'm not sure that this translates that well to video, but this lookout is absolutely Can they see the waterfall it is over there? Breathtaking. Yep, there's a I'm not sure that you can see it, but I'm going to point the camera in that direction. Just breathtaking, y'all. I also have to show you guys <laughs> how you arrive at this wonderful lookout. They have this uh, natural structure here. These <laughs> It looks like stairs made out of tree stumps that you have to come down to get here. And to leave, you have to go back up. So definitely do a little bit of CrossFit before you go on this trail. <laughs> Hi guys. So we're back at our little Posada farmhouse here. And we just want to give a little bit of feedback on that uh, three hour long trail that we, that we just hiked. Okay, so for me, the trail was very difficult because I don't hike all the time. The, tr the, the terrain was not, was not just like, you know, like flat. So there was a lot of going uphill, downhill, and it wasn't like just a, just this, you know, this pretty paved way for you to hike. So if you don't, so I felt that the trail was very difficult, but what about you guys? Not difficult, but long for me, you know, I don't hike all the time. I, actually, I just hike to, like I hiked with you, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but I felt it was long, but uh, worth it because we saw so beautiful, like lookout places, lookout points and waterfalls and monkeys again and <laughs> yes. beautiful trees. So worth it, definitely. But uh, if you are not a hike person and you don't, are, you're not used to walk, so uh, prefer to go on smaller trails. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I would agree. For me, I was. Um, <coughs> I thought it was actually quite like accessible, quite easy. I I didn't feel super tired, uh, but I agree that there are some ups and downs that you really have to be prepared for. The trail is really narrow. That was a surprise for me. So mm-hmm. you really just have to walk in one like one line through the whole thing, uh, and. Yeah, we had several breaks, right, for yes. uh, for rest, mm-hmm. like throughout. And the, the and the good thing too is that they they give you chances to move to go back. Like we started with a group of like twenty people, but ended with a group of like ten. <laughs> yes, because yes. it's a because uh, these guys these guys are you know they're they're dudes they're all healthy and stuff. But I mean, if you don't if you're not walking all the time and you know doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> That, y'all that's a hard trail <laughs> <laughs> and i felt i felt like the guides are really good guys like they you know, are the, the girls mm-hmm. and the guys are they're like uh helping you waiting for you and giving mm-hmm. enough information and uh, i i agree with you about the the narrow t- you know the the narrowness the narrowness yes of the the trail but uh it was a good surprise because for me it's it seems that they you know left that part of nature quite of untouched you know yes you you really do feel like you're like in in the middle of the woods yeah you know with with nothing with with just your survival instinct and stuff mm. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I just uh, say real quick too. Yes. The destination is worth it. Oh yes, my gosh! Like we yeah. went to oh a lookout point that we reached after I think an hour and a half of hiking. Yes, and then a waterfall after three hours. Of, well, in total, three hours of hiking for the waterfall. Worth it. So wonderful and beautiful and unique and. Yeah, I'm so grateful. Yes, so bring your water and your walking shoes. And uh, bring your ass here. <laughs> bananas for the monkeys. And bananas Spons- for the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I'll holla at y'all soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>